guys, this is Ackley Attack 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys, and yeah, um, yeah, I guess uh, probably by the time uh, this uh, video goes live, all I can say to uh, all of you guys is, well, happy Memorial Day weekend. So, so yeah, I can't believe we've uh, already uh, made it this so uh, far, and uh, and yeah. It is quite fitting, uh, seeing how uh, the end of uh, this uh, month is uh, coming, uh, pretty much uh, coming up very soon, and uh, we'll all, uh, and we will of course uh, be in June uh, coming up, uh, which means well, summer vacation is uh, already uh, on the horizon uh, for sure, and. Yeah, I guess I'd give it to, uh, of course, uh, what we're talking about here today, plus all the other films that uh, we've uh, talked about uh, pretty much uh, several weeks beforehand, uh, for sure, which, yeah, actually has been quite busy, uh, for sure. Yeah, looks like uh, we're now getting into the uh, midst of some uh, pretty interesting uh, movies that are going to be coming out this summer, uh, for sure, so... And good thing, too, because, uh, yeah, probably by the time, uh, yeah... Pretty much uh, based on the uh, background noise that you're hearing right about now, we finally got our uh, air conditioner uh, installed as of uh, now, uh, so, so yeah, finally getting some cool air into, of course, my room, and uh, all the more reason uh, for me to uh, breathe in here, uh, for sure, because, yeah, sometimes it can uh, pretty much uh, really uh, choke me out uh, whenever I, uh, pretty much on uh, most of the uh, heat, uh, and almost little to no air would actually, uh, uh, be all around uh, for sure, so. <coughs> so, yeah. Really glad that I uh, finally uh, got that installed uh, alongside uh, some help from my dad uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, I guess uh, either way, uh, I think uh, we're going to be in for a real, uh, pretty much a uh, really interesting summer uh, for sure, but. But anyways, uh, I guess I might as well uh, get right on to uh, the main subject uh, for uh, this uh, video uh, for sure, and. Well, I guess uh, for uh, today's uh, thoughts video, uh, for uh, sure, right? Uh, well, I guess it's that time uh, once again. I think it's about time that uh, we talk about the latest film that had, uh, just came out uh, not too long ago, uh, for sure. But I've decided to make it even more uh, special because, uh, because yeah, today it looks like I'm in for another double feature, uh, for sure. So, so yeah. You heard right there, uh, folks. I uh, got myself in for a uh, another double feature uh, this time around, uh, which means, uh, yeah, I I not only uh, saw two movies uh, right around uh, today by the time I'm recording this uh, video, but of course uh, I've also decided to give you guys not one but two thoughts videos uh, on the exact same uh, day uh, for sure. So. So yeah, I always do find it quite interesting uh, that uh, I would go for these uh, double features uh, for sure to uh, really get me up to speed uh, on uh, everything that uh, goes on uh, for sure. And luckily enough for uh, today's uh, movie that I'm going to be uh, talking about here today, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that one of them is of course uh, what I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, for sure. So, so yeah. I, I think that uh, pretty much uh, makes sense on, of course, on that front. So, so yeah, with that being said, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, talk about uh, the first of, of course, the uh, two movies that uh, I actually uh, got to uh, see uh, not too uh, long ago by the time I'm recording this uh, video for uh, sure. So, so yeah. And, of course, uh, with that uh, being said, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are wondering what did uh, I actually uh, go see uh, this uh, time around uh, for sure. Well, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, mix things up a bit uh, for sure. And well, you've ha uh, you've all uh, seen me uh, talk about uh, pretty much uh, some movies uh, done by some well-known directors uh, for sure. Uh, and uh, and yeah, there's actually quite a whole lot uh, for sure. And if you have seen my uh, thoughts videos in the past, uh, you'll definitely know uh, some uh, well-known directors that I know of for sure that has. Uh, Directed some uh, pretty interesting works, whether they be good, bad, or somewhere in between, uh, for sure. And of course, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, get right on to, of course, uh, talking about uh, one of uh, these, uh, pretty much this latest film from uh, this well-known director, uh, for sure. So, so yeah, I guess uh, with that being uh, said, uh, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, dive right into, of course, the latest film that is uh, given to us by well-known director George Miller. Yeah, I guess 
you heard me right there, it's about time that I go we talk about a, a movie directed by George Miller for sure. Hand on. And boy, I guess there's a lot to uh, talk about uh, for sure, and trust me, it's going to tie into, of course, uh, the latest movie that I uh, just uh, got the uh, chance to uh, go see uh, for sure, and, uh, and yeah, I guess uh, there's uh, no doubt in my mind that we have uh, pretty much uh, seen a good chunk of uh, movies uh, directed by uh, George Miller uh, for sure, and, uh, and there's quite a whole lot of uh, entirety uh, for sure, uh, like, of course, uh, Pretty much, uh, Happy Feet, uh, that is actually a really good one. Babe, alongside its, a uh, sequel, Babe, uh, Pig in the City. Which are actually, uh, both, uh, really, uh, great, uh, from, uh, what I actually, uh, heard, uh, for sure, uh, though. I'm only saying that because it's, uh, been a long time, uh, for sure, uh, so. I definitely gotta think about, uh, re-watching, uh, the Babe, uh, movies, uh, for sure. I mean, I already know, I, uh, already did with, a uh, Happy Feet, uh, Pretty much a long time ago. Maybe I think it's about time that uh, I think I would uh, watch all uh, both of the uh, Babe movies in uh, full. So, so yeah, those are some uh, good examples. And I think it's about time that uh, we uh, dive right into, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the latest installment in this uh, movie series that George Miller has, of course, uh, directed over the uh, years uh, for uh, sure. So. And I think you can pretty much uh, tell, uh, of course, uh, what I'm going to be uh, talking about for sure. But in case you're quite curious, I think it's about time that uh, we uh, get our uh, uh, get our uh, uh, adrenaline uh, pumping and our hearts uh, racing uh, for sure as we talk about uh, pretty much uh, George Miller's uh, latest film that just came out uh, not too long ago, which is none other than Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. So... So yeah, that's of course what I'm going to be uh, talking about here today it is of course not only the uh, latest film that just came out not too long ago, but it's also the uh, latest installment in, uh, in of course, uh, pretty much uh, George Miller's uh, well-known movie series that uh, he's directed over the years, which is of course Mad Max. So, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say uh, of course that front. All right, I guess I'm done with that. All right, so uh, so yeah, before I could go ahead and talk about this uh, latest uh, movie, I think it makes sense to uh, give my perspective, or at least uh, pretty much a quick analysis on, well, all of the Mad Max movies uh, for sure, so. So yeah, I guess uh, if anything, uh, pretty much uh, much like, uh, pretty much uh, with uh, Happy Feet and uh, both uh, Babe movies uh, for sure, when it comes to uh, some well-known movies that George Miller has directed over the years, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, the Mad Max movies is uh, definitely what comes uh, to mind uh, for sure, and uh... And why uh, shouldn't I uh, mention those um, movies? Uh, they're incredibly action-packed. They uh, actually have a great sense of development for the uh, characters. Some really interesting uh, stories uh, from uh, what I can uh, gather. And, uh, and yeah, even the environment uh, and the uh, world building, I have to uh, say, really does uh, make these uh, movies uh, identifiable uh, for sure. So, so yeah. Oddly enough, uh, I think I never even uh, realized that uh, upon uh, looking over, uh, of course, uh, these uh, movies at first glance. But but I guess uh, see how I did manage to uh, bring my. Uh, I need to uh, get myself uh, prepared for uh, this uh, movie. Yeah, I guess it's uh, safe to say that I certainly believe that, and I actually find myself uh, really enjoying the Mad Max uh, movies uh, entirely, uh, for sure. The first one is, of course, a, a really good movie, and actually has a, a pretty interesting uh, revenge uh, plug, uh, and even took its time to uh, really establish everything that goes on, uh, for sure, which, yeah, I guess uh, to me... Actually, uh, does uh, make uh, the first uh, Mad Max movie a, a pretty good movie uh, for sure that uh, I really do love and admire for sure. Now, as for the other sequels, uh, yeah. Now, of course, uh, for the sequels uh, to uh, Mad Max, yeah, they're a whole other uh, story from what I could gather because, yeah, they, of course, uh, range from good to just absolutely excellent uh, all the uh, ways. So, so yeah. So, of course, uh, for my short analysis, uh, of course, all of the, uh, all of the uh, sequels that we uh, got so far to uh, Mad Max, uh, for sure, uh, 
Robo-Warrior is, of course, uh, another pretty good one, uh, despite the fact that it pretty much uh, it would probably count as my least uh, favorite uh, for uh, sure. Uh, but it is, of course, uh, the one movie that actually uh, shows that it is indeed a real Mad Max movie uh, for uh, sure. So, so, yeah. Either way, uh, despite it being my least uh, favorite for uh, sure, I actually uh, do uh, admire uh, Road Warrior for uh, what it is uh, for uh, sure. And of course, uh, the uh, third one, uh, Beyond Thunderdome, that too, I will have to say, is just absolutely uh, great uh, for uh, sure. And oddly enough, uh, I am going to sound controversial for saying this, but I definitely do think uh, Thunderdome is uh, definitely the best one out of all the uh, Mad Max movies uh, for uh, sure. Uh, probably with, of course, its uh, incredible writing, great characters, uh, an interesting story, and, uh, and yeah, all that sort of uh, stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of uh, fun uh, for uh, sure. But yeah, that's pretty much what I think of uh, Thunderdome uh, for sure. But there's no doubt in my mind that I can agree with a lot of people in saying that out of all the Mad Max movies that uh, we actually got, the uh, last one uh, that uh, we got before uh, this one, Fury Road, my, uh, my own means it is an absolutely amazing movie uh, by uh, Farah. Uh, yeah, it's action-packed, it's thrilling, and, and again, it really uh, does uh, get me... Uh, pretty much uh, hooked on with, of course, its uh, identifiable characters and, of course, the uh, really gripping story that I actually uh, follow up for uh, sure, so. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess, if anything, as much as I do love, uh, pretty much, uh, love all, uh, pretty much of uh, the first three Mad Max movies uh, for sure, uh, especially uh, saying that Thunderdome is my all-time favorite, I can agree with a lot of people in saying that Fury Road is uh, definitely the uh, best one out of all the Mad Max movies uh, for sure, so. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, my uh, sum up of, of course, uh, all the Mad Max movies that uh, we've uh, got uh, for sure. They're all great movies uh, by uh, far, and I say they're definitely uh, well worth the uh, watch uh, for sure, and Plus, I do find it quite interesting that there's uh, not one single Mad Max movie that anybody hates uh, for sure. That's how great all these uh, movies are uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. Now, when I heard the news about uh, pretty much uh, this uh, newest uh, movie uh, coming up, uh, centering around uh, one character from uh, Fury Road, uh, which is, of course, uh, Furiosa... I actually uh, got myself uh, quite curious to uh, see on uh, how it's going to pull off uh, for uh, sure, uh, because, yeah, if anything, uh, Furiosa is, of course, uh, definitely a uh, one, uh, pretty much a uh, one character uh, out of all the characters in the Mad Max series that uh, I definitely uh, got myself uh, hooked on uh, for sure, uh, and, and yeah, pretty much having uh, her own movie would uh, actually be quite interesting to uh, see on how it'll go, so... But yeah, nevertheless, I got myself uh, really excited to uh, see on uh, how they're going to pull this uh, off uh, for sure. So, so yeah, luckily enough, I did manage to uh, go see it as part of my uh, double feature that I did. All thanks to the kind people at uh, Crown City Cinemas, as always, for uh, letting me uh, do that. You guys rock. And, uh, and yeah, by all means, I did manage to uh, get myself in to actually uh, go and see this uh, movie uh, for uh, myself. And, uh... And, of course, uh, now that I actually uh, got back from, of course, uh, seeing it, what do I think of this uh, movie now that I uh, got the chance to uh, go see it? Well, I guess, if anything, my reaction to, of course, this uh, movie in a nutshell, I might as well, uh, yeah, to quote, uh, pretty much, uh, to quote a line from, of course, uh, Fury Road, uh, but uh, add my own little twist to it. Oh, what a film! What a lovely film! <laughs> so, yeah. You definitely heard right there, folks. Uh, based on, of course, on what I actually uh, said, I I really enjoyed this uh, movie, uh, for uh, sure. Everything from, of course, uh, what I'm actually uh, seeing uh, by far, uh, I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, everything that uh, goes on, uh, for uh, sure. And, uh, and, yeah, really is... Uh, really does give us something different while staying true to the, uh, pretty much uh, keeping the love and the spirit of the Mad Max movies, uh, for sure. Especially, uh, seeing on uh, how, uh, it does serve as a, uh, pretty interesting, uh, prequel to Fury Road, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. 
I guess that's uh, pretty much why I can't say, uh, of course, that front. I absolutely love Furiosa for uh, sure. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely uh, a, a really great movie uh, all the way, so. So, yeah. It's pretty much why I can't say, uh, of course, that front. Alright. Alright, so, uh, so yeah, now that I've actually got the, uh, short version out of the way, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about everything that I need to, uh, talk about for, uh, sure. For starters is, of course, the story, and honestly, to me, I do think the, uh, story in this, uh, movie is actually very, uh, structured out, for, uh, sure, and not to mention very engaging, uh, from, uh, everything that goes on, and it's, of course, uh, not only, uh, amazing, but also very easy to follow, uh, for, uh, sure, uh, yeah, pretty much all we actually uh, get, uh, again, seeing how uh, it is serving as a uh, prequel to Fury Road, uh, for uh, sure, we actually uh, do get to explore uh, all of uh, Furiosa's uh, backstory, uh, for uh, sure, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, going from uh, how was uh, she actually uh, ending up in a uh, predicament that would uh, lead her to uh, become the ultimate badass, uh, for uh, sure, to which... I really do admire uh, for sure, and uh, I really do like the uh, way uh, the uh, movie actually uh, structured that out quite well, and I and I really got myself uh, in, uh, of course, everything that uh, goes on uh, throughout the course of the uh, entire flick uh, for uh, sure, and, and yeah, that's how great it is, uh, in my opinion. I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, what they've actually uh, tried to accomplish uh, for uh, sure. Uh, I really got myself uh, fully engaged uh, with everything that uh, goes on uh, at, uh, throughout the entire uh, two and a half hour running time uh, for uh, sure. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, I guess uh, if anything, it's pretty much why I can say, uh, of course, that front. That's how uh, great the uh, story is, uh, in my opinion, uh, for uh, sure. So. So yeah, and of course, uh, for the writing, I uh, have to uh, say as another aspect, that too, I will have to uh, say, is actually brilliantly uh, well done. I really love uh, how well crafted this uh, film is, uh, for sure, through its uh, writing, and I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, what they've actually uh, got uh, jotted down, uh, for sure, to really make it uh, stand out a whole lot, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess uh, either way, I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, the writing, I uh, have to say. Uh, it is uh, pretty much uh, written out quite well, and it's uh, structured very appropriately uh, to uh, actually make it all the more uh, engaging and fun to watch, uh, for uh, sure. That's uh, how much I really do uh, admire uh, the uh, writing, I have to uh, say. There was never uh, one dull moment uh, that had uh, ruined the entire flick entirely. No. It is actually uh, written out quite well, and I love, uh, of course, uh, what they've actually uh, done uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I can say for, of course, the, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, story and the writing uh, for, of course, uh, this film. They're, they're absolutely uh, really great, uh, in my opinion. I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, what they've actually uh, accomplished uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, it's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. All right. All right. So uh, now that I've got those two out of the way, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about uh, the next uh, couple of things uh, that I need to uh, talk about uh, for sure, uh, which are, of course, uh, for starters, the characters and. Yeah, I guess uh, there's uh, no doubt in my mind that uh, pretty much of anything, the characters, of course, uh, pretty much uh, every George Miller uh, film, uh, for sure, does actually have a good sense of a variety, uh, for sure. And on top of all that, much like uh, all of his other films, uh, for sure, the one thing that we actually do know is that uh, the least interesting character is always the main character, uh, for sure. And, uh... And I guess uh, for the case of uh, for the uh, characters, and of course, uh, this movie for sure, there's no uh, exception uh, for uh, that, uh, for sure. Uh, I really do think the uh, characters, I have to uh, say, they are actually uh, very likable uh, from a White King Gather. I really do love the uh, great sense of uh, development that uh, they've actually uh, gave uh, themselves uh, for uh, sure, and what uh, pretty much uh, what flaws they uh, need to uh, overcome uh, for uh, sure. So. So yeah, I think it's uh, what I can say for, of course, the uh, characters. I really do uh, get to know them uh, quite well, and I uh, always do find myself uh, rooting uh, for them uh, whenever uh, they're on screen, uh, for uh, sure, so... 
So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say for, of course, uh, the uh, characters and, of course, uh, this uh, movie. Now, as uh, for the actors that came on board to uh, play all these uh, characters, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, I really do love on uh, how well casting uh, this uh, movie is uh, for sure. And, uh, and yeah, I actually uh, do think they pulled off some uh, really great performances, uh, in my opinion. And I really do uh, admire, of course, uh, pretty much uh, what they had to uh, deliver for uh, each and every single one of their uh, performances, uh, for sure. Probably, I think, a, a good example uh, for uh, all that would definitely have to be, uh, one of them uh, would have to be uh, Chris Hemsworth uh, as uh, Demigas, uh, to which, uh, yeah, I guess uh, there's, no doubt, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that I think he uh, really uh, portrayed his uh, character uh, really quite well, uh, for sure, and, uh, and yeah, I really do love the uh, commitment and the effort uh, that he actually uh, had to pull off uh, to uh, really give off a really great performance, uh, for sure, and... And yeah, I guess either way, I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, his uh, performance uh, for sure, so. So yeah, Bog, of course, uh, seeing how this movie is entitled uh, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, I think it makes sense uh, for me to uh, mention, well, Furiosa, so. So yeah, I guess uh, if anything, uh, pretty much, uh, if you actually uh, know about uh, Furiosa in both this movie and Fury Road, uh, it actually uh, does uh, pretty much uh, does actually uh, show on how much of a uh, badass uh, she is uh, for sure, right? Uh, and of course, uh, for the case uh, of her uh, character, uh, for sure, well, Charlie, uh, Charlie's uh, Theron uh, actually did an incredible job uh, portraying her character and of course, uh, this movie uh, for sure. Yeah, well, not nah, got this movie, uh, but mainly uh, Fury Road uh, for sure. But for the case of this movie, uh, yeah, I got I finally got right got this time. But for the case of this movie, I will have to say Anya Taylor Joy is definitely a really a uh, great pick to a uh, play uh, Furiosa for sure. I really do uh, admire the uh, commitment that uh, she actually uh, did to uh, make the uh, character a uh, work uh, for sure. And, and yeah. Yeah, it actually does, uh, showing her, uh, performance, uh, for sure. I really do, uh, love, uh, of course, uh, what she's actually, uh, done to, uh, make that, uh, make her, uh, character, uh, work, uh, for sure. And, and, yeah, she actually did pull off a really great performance to, uh, really, uh, make her, uh, character stand out, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, that's pretty much a good example, uh, for, of course, uh, the acting, of course, uh, this, uh, film. They're all, uh, great, uh, by a far, and I really do, uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, what they've actually, uh, done, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I can say for, of course, the, uh, characters and the actors, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. All right. Alright then, so uh, so yeah, now that I've actually got those two out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about? Actually, quite a whole lot uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess uh, for starters, I, I should definitely uh, talk about uh, the action uh, for sure, because uh, yeah, quite frankly, uh, there's uh, pretty much of anything, if there's uh, one thing that uh, we always do get out of, of, of course, uh, the Mad Max uh, movies uh, for sure, he is, of course, uh, pretty much some uh, uh, some really great uh, action uh, for sure. And for the case of uh, this movie, he actually does a uh, show uh, for sure. I really do uh, love, uh, of course, uh, the uh, really great and intense uh, action uh, for sure. And yeah, I really follow through, uh, of course, uh, everything that uh, goes on throughout the course of the uh, movie uh, for sure, right? You name it, from, of course, uh, the, uh, pretty much the, uh, gunfights, and, of course, the, uh, pretty much, uh, the, uh, fists, uh, fights, uh, just to, uh, name me a few, to the incredible, uh, chases, uh, that, uh, they actually, uh, showcase, uh, for, uh, sure, uh, and top it all off, uh, with some, uh, pretty much, uh, some, uh, really great, uh, stunts, uh, from, uh, what I can, uh, gather, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that the action, of course, this, uh, movie is absolutely, uh, incredible, and I really do, uh, I really do follow through on everything that, uh, goes on, uh, for sure, and I really love, on uh, uh, what this, uh, movie, uh, had to, uh, showcase in terms of its, uh, action, uh, for sure, and that's something I really do, uh, admire the, uh, most, uh, throughout the course of this, uh, movie, it really does, uh, show a whole lot, uh, for sure, so... So, yeah, and, of course, uh, for the uh, visuals and the effects, uh, for sure, yeah, 
that too, I will have to say, is uh, absolutely uh, brilliantly uh, well done for sure. I really do uh, admire, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, commitment they uh, did to, of course, uh, to actually make the visuals and the effects uh, work uh, for sure. Like, of course, uh, for the effects part, uh, they actually uh, really did uh, an incredible job uh, with, of course, uh, supplying its uh, effects uh, for sure uh, to uh, really uh, make this uh, movie uh, stand out uh, quite well uh, for sure uh, with, uh, yeah. And yeah, most of the uh, time, I think uh, pretty much uh, the effects are so great, I almost uh, feel like uh, it was uh, almost done uh, practically with uh, little to no CGI uh, thrown into it uh, for sure. Uh, it really did fool the eye uh, quite well uh, for sure, and uh, I really do uh, admire, uh, of course, uh, what they uh, actually uh, did. And of course, uh, for its uh, visuals, uh, for a sure run, uh, that too is actually uh, brilliantly uh, well done uh, entirely, and, uh, and yeah. Pretty much, uh, if anything, uh, if there's uh, one thing I do admire, uh, of course, uh, the uh, film's uh, visuals, uh, for sure, it's mainly the environment and the uh, world building uh, that uh, this uh, movie uh, wanted to uh, showcase, uh, much like all the other uh, Mad Max movies that uh, came out beforehand, uh, to actually uh, make us want to uh, observe it uh, for ourselves, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I think, uh, I guess uh, if anything, that's uh, pretty much what I can say uh, for the uh, film in terms of its uh, visuals uh, for sure, uh, and that's something I uh, really do admire uh, for sure, and oh yeah, even its uh, great uh, world building, I uh, have to uh, say, uh, almost uh, make you feel like you actually uh, are in this uh, world that these uh, movies actually uh, take place in uh, for sure, just this whole uh, post-apocalyptic, uh, desert-like uh, setting uh, for sure to uh, really make this uh, movie uh, actually uh, stand out uh, quite well uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I can say, uh, uh, of course, on that front, so... So yeah, now of course, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we might as well uh, dive right into it. We might as well talk about the direction of this film uh, for sure, so... So yeah, in terms of its uh, direction, yeah, I guess uh, if anything, uh, if you actually uh, know any other uh, movie uh, that uh, George Miller has uh, directed, you would definitely know that uh, he actually uh, is, uh, of course, his uh, A game uh, to uh, really uh, make the uh, movies he's actually uh, making actually uh, work uh, quite well, and it actually does showcase uh, all of that in this uh, movie uh, for sure. I really do love the uh, effort and commitment that uh, he actually uh, did uh, to uh, pretty much uh, give this uh, film a great sense of uh, direction uh, for sure. And, uh, and yeah, for that, I really do uh, admire, of course, uh, the uh, hardworking effort he uh, did to actually uh, make this uh, work uh, for sure. So, so yeah. I guess there's no doubt in my mind, uh, George Miller is really on his A-game with, of course, this, uh, movie, and he actually, uh, did pull off some, uh, really great direction, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, and, of course, uh, the cinematography is absolutely, uh, outstanding with some, uh, really great camera shots to, uh, really, uh, showcase on everything that, uh, goes on, uh, for sure, and, of course, uh, the film's, uh, cut, up uh, perfectly through some, uh, fantastic, uh, aing, uh, for sure, and, uh, and not to mention, it also, uh, does, uh, match, uh, with, of course, uh, the, uh, film's, uh, tone, atmosphere, and pacing, uh, to which, uh, yeah, it really does, uh, flow out quite well, uh, and, of course, uh, this, uh, movie, I really do, uh, pretty much, uh, admire that, uh, for sure. But I guess, uh, moreover, I guess, uh, with everything I have to uh, say, I really do admire that, uh, it wanted to, uh, do its uh, own thing, while actually keeping the, uh, love and the uh, spirit of all the other, uh, Mad Max movies that, uh, came out beforehand, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything that I can say, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, this uh, movie in a nutshell. So, so yeah. All right. All right. So I guess uh, with all that said and done, that's pretty much everything that I can say uh, for, of course, this uh, movie. So. So yeah, I guess uh, overall, uh, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is definitely without doubt an outstanding action-packed thrill ride that uh, I can definitely uh, say uh, by uh, far 
is definitely well worth uh, two and a half hours of your uh, time uh, for uh, sure. Uh, it's got everything that uh, you actually uh, want uh, for uh, sure. Uh, yeah, not only uh, actually uh, doing its uh, own thing, uh, pretty much... Uh, Pretty much uh, liking, uh, wanting to, uh, for sure, but also uh, still wants to, uh, keep the uh, love and the uh, spirit of the Mad Max movies that, uh, came out beforehand, uh, for sure. And for that, I really do think, uh, they pulled it off, uh, quite well, uh, for sure to, uh, really make this, uh, movie, uh, not only exciting to watch, but also action-packed, uh, that leaves you on the edge of your, uh, seat, and once it's over, you're just begging, uh, for, a uh, more of that, uh, for sure. So. so yeah, that's how great this uh, movie is uh, for sure, and and yeah, I guess it's uh, safe to say that uh, that I do highly recommend it uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I say uh, you're gonna be in for uh, something really great uh, for sure, and and yeah. Oddly enough, uh, as much as I actually uh, really do love uh, all the other uh, films uh, for sure, especially a uh, Thunderdome uh, for sure, right? Uh, I guess if anything, uh, this uh, movie uh, from like Gather, I would definitely say is uh, definitely on the same level as Fury Road uh, for uh, sure. Right? Uh, yeah, it's got kind of, uh, pretty much uh, what you uh, want uh, for sure, and uh, it actually uh, really gets you uh, engaged. Uh, of course, uh, everything everything that uh, goes on uh, for sure. So, so yeah, and I guess if it's uh, something uh, that uh, you might be uh, interested in for sure, then. Then yeah, like I said, I actually uh, do highly recommend this uh, movie uh, for sure. Trust me when I say that, uh, pretty much uh, once you actually uh, do uh, see this uh, movie for yourself, trust me when I say you're going to get something as uh, incredible and badass as Furiosa herself. So, so yeah, that's pretty much why I can say, uh, of course, that front. So, so yeah, for my final score... Yeah, I guess there's uh, no doubt in my mind that I am proud to, of course, uh, give uh, this movie an outstanding 9 out of 10 as my final score. So, so yeah, definitely a uh, really incredible uh, movie uh, all the way uh, for sure. Uh, and like I say, it's definitely on the uh, same level as uh, as uh, Fury Road uh, for sure, which is also a uh, really outstanding uh, movie uh, for sure. But I am definitely happy. Uh, but I am definitely uh, happy to uh, say that uh, that yeah, I definitely do think uh, this uh, movie is truly one of the best movies that I've actually uh, seen uh, this year so far uh, for sure. So, so yeah, I think that's uh, probably why I can't say, uh, of course, that front. If you're actually uh, in the mood for something that uh, will actually uh, get your adrenaline pumping and, of course, your heart racing uh, for sure, uh, and actually uh, get something that's uh, pretty much on the uh, same level as, of course, uh, Fury Road, out of all the Mad Max movies that uh, came out beforehand, uh, for sure, give this movie a watch. Uh, I say it's worth uh, two and a half hours of your uh, time, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah. It's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. Alrighty. Alright, so I guess uh, with all that said and done, that's pretty much everything that I can say uh, for, of course, uh, this, uh, for, of course, uh, all this, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, Thoughts video, and by all means, uh, I want to ask all of you guys, uh, what do you think of uh, Furiosa, a uh, Mad Max saga, if you have actually uh, seen it, uh, do you absolutely enjoy it, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, Say like um, he that uh, you think you uh, absolutely love it as much as uh, Fury Road or do absolutely hate it and uh, think it's uh, an absolute waste of time or are you somewhere in uh, in between uh, for sure? Uh, let me know in the uh, comment section below on what you thought of uh, Furiosa Mad Max Saga. I would definitely uh, love to know on what you guys think. So. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest thoughts video, and, well, tune in uh, next time, uh, where, of course, uh, yeah, since I did mention uh, that I uh, that was in uh, for a double feature uh, this time around, uh, for sure, for uh, for the next uh, thoughts video that'll be uh, coming up in uh, less than half an hour uh, from uh, now, uh, for sure, 
it's about time that I got we dive into uh, the latest movie about a simple orange cat that absolutely loves lasagna. <clears throat> yeah, that absolutely loves lasagna, but absolutely hates Mondays uh, for sure. And if uh, somehow you managed to uh, figure that one out uh, based on that little hint, you're definitely going to have to uh, wait and see uh, for sure. But until that comes around, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Special thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making today's video possible, including my top tier supporters for this month, VD. So if you want to be like these guys and show your support to us, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to pledge now, do so, and get some awesome rewards within your budget. Hey guys, this is AkaliTac4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as join our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.